Well, good morning, folks. Uh, welcome back to the uh, farm. Uh, well, we'll turn it into a nice farm anyway. Uh, glad to have y'all back. We're fixing to head on down to uh, the dealership store and uh, pick us up. Uh, pick us up a new mower. Uh, we already said sold the old one, but uh, now we'll go ahead and uh, cut some grass today and. Uh, See what other kind of troubles we can get to on the farm. But uh, most of our day is going to be uh, spent on getting this uh, grass cut and taken care of. Uh, we still need to get. Uh, Field ready so we can uh, put one last crop in the ground this year. But, uh, I want to go ahead and uh, get a few more bells as we uh, get them sold. I think we won't have enough grass for uh, grass bales for the season uh, for the sheep. I think we're going to be pretty good there. But this big mower should uh, lower our time spent in the field. I've been thinking about, you know, uh, getting a couple of head of cattle for right now. Nothing, you know, nothing, not a, you know, nothing too big, just, uh, just getting a couple, you know, two or three, you know, just kind of have on the uh, farm for the moment. Uh, I'm not really ready to go really big on cattle at this stage of the game. Just uh, that's one of those uh, I don't want to not have cattle on the farm at this point <laughs> if that makes any sense uh, that unfolded get turned on and blow it down yeah Looking pretty good so far. Uh. 
Uh, but you know, I'm just not in the, we're just not in the state at this point to really, uh, the, uh, making or especially not buying any, uh, TMR for the cattle. So that's why I'm kind of hesitant about getting into, uh, any cattle. I mean, you got grass and the sheep will do fine on that for right now. And I'm hoping our soybeans get ready soon. Uh, that's why we can get them harvested. Then I can go ahead and prepare this field. I've kind of been holding up on the getting this field ready until uh, we can harvest those soybeans but uh, I'm afraid if I have to wait too much longer I might miss out on the planting season which is really not ideal for me as of right now do have a uh, loan we need to pay back and uh, there's some more equipment I'd like to upgrade and of course there's just plenty of things I want to do around the farm We just need to be in a better position before I start on any of that too hard and heavy. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get this field taken care of and uh, I'll talk at y'all then. too long uh, head down the road and, uh, t 
take a look at those soybeans. Coming along nicely. Uh, but don't think they're going to be ready today. Uh, that's going to put us tight as far as getting another crop planted. and uh, get the tether and uh, see if we can't get that turned over. I'll be back with you good folks in just a moment. Alright, well that's got our bailing done. and I'm short a bell <laughs> anyway let's go ahead and put the beller up for now So open up the garage door. Now we can get it put in here. Grab the Massey here. bucket at the moment. We will 
will need the uh, bell forks. Silage bill should be permitted. We'll check on that. If they are, we're going to go ahead and get some of those sold. sold I think I'm just going to take these up to the uh, cell barn animal dealer. And we'll sell these bells there. Then we'll turn around and sell this trailer as well. Because I, I just don't feel like we need this trailer. Being that we have the other one. And we're going to apply that money to something that we, uh, something else that we need. Or maybe even, uh, Go ahead and get in a couple of head of cattle. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's what I want to do, but. I don't know. We'll just have to figure that out. As like I said, I, mean, I want cattle, but. I want some cattle on the farm, just, uh, we're not real, we're not ready to, uh, really go, uh, large scale with it. Uh, but, uh, yeah, a couple ahead, yeah, I think we can handle all right. But, uh, We'll figure that out when uh, we'll figure that out here in a moment. First, let's get these bells sewed. Ah, nice. Twelve thousand dollars and a thousand dollars for environmental score. That helps the sore knee. And we'll go ahead and take this trailer over here and sell it back to the dealership. Alright. 
Hopefully we can get a decent price for it. Okay, no repairs needed. Uh, almost 4000 for it. Okay. That definitely helps the sore leg. <laughs> Looks like it could use a bit of fuel. I'd do that. Alright. Oh, fifty dollars. Fuel prices are gonna kill us, huh? bit of money which is good uh, we got enough uh, got enough hay and grass bells on the farm that I think I think we could go ahead and get, you know, a couple head of big cows. And we can get that delivered. I think I'd feel a lot better about the uh, progression of the farm at that point. Uh... Let's say we made 27 bells here. 27, 28. Uh, I'm not going to go through and count them again. Uh, uh, yeah, and our soybeans still ain't ready. think they're going to be ready for, uh, in time to replant everything but uh, may have to figure out something else as far as that goes I'm going to have to go ahead and turn this field over. I may have to get part of my hay field in order to make it worth it. I mean, we did pretty good on the field, but. Just really not enough to uh, keep us going in the direction we want to go. Got our bells loaded up. We'll head on out to the train station. Got 26 bells on here and two left in the field. So we did fairly decent on that small section. Oh, 
we'll get this taken down and sold off, then uh, I think I'll call the uh, animal dealer and uh, see about getting some uh, cattle brought onto the property. We'll get some beef cows. Uh, uh, I think it'll feel a little more like a farm then. I mean, I enjoy having the sheep, and they're doing nicely. Uh, but I, I just really like to have some cattle on the farm. Just makes it feel more like a real farm. And I think I want to lean a little more towards cattle, just overall in general. Well, of course, here comes the other train. trailer there, see if I can get around there and grab those two bells that I knocked off. Hopefully before the train comes back through it. <laughs> that wouldn't be pretty. up on the tracks there for a little bit. We'll get our trailer out of the way.
I'm fine. We'll just go around the building. At least ain't disturbing anybody's picnic. <laughs> Bell. That was a little bit of a ride. <laughs> All right. Another $390 for that bell. I ain't going to complain. All right. back to the uh, farm and uh, we'll see what we can figure out about a couple of head of cattle. Alright folks, we'll uh, see you over there. Alright folks, oh, we got some beef cattle delivered. Yeah, we got feeding them hay and a little bit of grass. Got them watered up. Of course, uh, had about us a water tanker. A pretty good deal with it. But yeah, we got some got some cattle on the farm now. You know, we'll get these uh, get them fattened up and uh, get them raised and, and we'll send them to market. <laughs> yeah, a few of them. But now it feels more like a farm here. Uh, I'll walk on down here and take a look at the sheep. Uh, we still got plenty of bells laying around. And producing a little bit of wool. They all look happy. Yeah. Now that's good, that's good. Uh, and they still get plenty of feed. Uh, like I said, we get more bells around here. Uh, yeah, we don't need too many bells to keep us going for now. And we still got another piece of uh, uh, hay field to uh, mow in case we do decide we need a little more. Uh, but at least we got some cattle on the farm. That's good. Uh, I was just really hoping those soybeans would be ready today, but 
Well, guess luck just ain't on our side as far as that goes. Uh, but, you know, hopefully we still have time to get them in later. Uh, but, uh, yeah, we're going to have to uh, get to planting tomorrow. Or next month, uh, however you want to look at it. Oh, we won't have no uh, uh, no income coming coming in. <laughs> Which makes my progress on this place a little slower. But I think we did fairly well for today. Uh, time just to sit back and relax a bit. Uh, but anyway, y'all be good to yourselves, be kind to each other, and we'll talk to you next time. <laughs>